I think I've got a torn rotatory cuff. Hi everyone, it's Lewis from Elite Sport and Performance. Thanks very much for joining us again today. Today we're gonna to go over one of the things we see quite a bit and that's a problem at the back of the shoulder um, and a strain in your rotator cuff. Let's just get this out there. The term is rotator cuff. It's not rotatory cuff that you hear people come out with that makes all the physios have a wee laugh when people say it. So just clearing up some of the confusion there. Rotator cuff. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that we commonly see with your rotator cuff is pain in infraspinatus. So this is the muscle that runs around the back of the shoulder. It runs from the underneath of the scapula, the shoulder blade, and it comes all the way around the front and attaches onto the front outside edge of the shoulder here. So infraspinatus job is to externally rotate the shoulder and turn the arm out. It's quite commonly injured in bench pressing or overhead press movements because Obviously, as you press, as the weight gets really heavy, the shoulder can externally or internally rotate, depending on how much stability you've got in the bar and how good your bar path is. So if you're pressing overhead or you're bench pressing and the bar starts to pull down towards your sternum, it will cause your, your chest to cave in in the middle and you'll internally rotate your shoulder and then your external rotators, infraspinatus, have to work really hard to pull you out there. So you can strain it quite easily doing that. You can actually tear it or even rupture it as well, although I don't think I've ever really seen a true isolated infraspinatus rupture. It tends to go in combination with the other parts of your rotator cuff. So what are the signs of uh, an infraspinatus strain? You would have pain on the outside of the shoulder. It might very well run down into the edge of the elbow you would definitely find it difficult to lift your hand overhead sometimes you might get a painful arc type movement whereas you lift your arm it's sore then it gets a wee bit better and then as you come all the way through the movement it starts to clear again you definitely won't like lying on your shoulder either so you might favor that by turning onto your good side but generally you'll find sleep's an issue and it might even be that it's disturbed for you sometimes people complain of pain running down into the hand as well or numbness or tingling too which makes them think that it might be coming off their neck, but actually that can all come off the rotator cuff and infraspinatus as well. You'll also find that you've got a decrease in power turning the arm out. So things like reaching across to get your seatbelt if you're a driver and pulling that across to you here, you'll find that difficult. It'll be sore putting your hand behind your head. So um, drying your hair, uh, combing your hair, maybe even shaving. These are all things that you'll find difficult to do. And if you're in the gym weight training, you certainly won't like any kind of overhead pressing movements. Really what you should do if you have a problem like this is get it assessed first, uh, identify whether or not you do have a full tear or not. But I'm gonna show you one exercise that you can do that will help that. It might clear it up altogether. It's impossible for me to say, but it's definitely worth a try. Here goes. Okay, so here's how we're gonna demonstrate the stretch. We're just gonna sit against the wall at 90 degrees to the wall, at right angle to it. I'm going to lift my elbow so that now that my elbow is at 90 degrees and my shoulder is at 90 degrees and I'm going to try and get the back of my shoulder against the wall. Next what I'm going to do is take my good hand and the back of my wrist and I'm going to try and turn my hand down towards the wall. I'm not bad at this movement. I'm a bit stiff here today. Uh, I was training my upper back yesterday. The idea is that you bring the hand all the way down so that it touches the wall. You don't want the back of your shoulder to come off the wall here. You don't want your shoulder coming away from the wall. You want to keep that down and in. You'll feel it pull at the back of the shoulder. Just hold that for 10, 20, 30 seconds, as long as you can tolerate really. You might find that it sends some of the pain down the back of the shoulder into the outside of the elbow. Don't worry about that, just don't force it too much. Then you come back up, maybe even come off, shake the arm out a bit again, come back in, drop back down into it. Little and often with a, a movement like this, a couple of times a day, sometimes it's better after you've warmed the, the shoulder up first as well with a hot water bottle. This is a really good way to try and release off any tightness through the back of the, the, the shoulder into infraspinatus here. Let me know how you get on with it. If you do have problems with your shoulders, then drop us a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to our channel and like our video if you did enjoy this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.